My name is Fiona Devine. I'm a professor of sociology and head of the School of Social Sciences at the University of Manchester. Um, I have three areas of research. The first one is on social stratification and mobility. The second is on work and employment. And the third is on politics and participation. I think that data and access to data has been something that's been critical across the whole of my research career and I can give you a couple of examples from the early part of my career. In my first job I was a research officer in the social science branch of the Department of Employment in its headquarters in London and my boss, if I could call her that, was Caridwin Roberts who was famous as one of the co-authors of the Women in Employment Survey, which was a huge survey done in the early 80s, which was very influential. Um, and in that job, again, I worked with data in that I was doing work, briefing work for the ministry um, and also for parliamentary questions using data from the Labour Force Survey or the Workplace Industrial Relations Survey. And again, it was very exciting to be using those data sets and to be influencing public debate about, at that time, labour market flexibility. Um, I have been most recently engaged in a project with the BBC called the British Class, Great British Class Survey, uh, with my colleague Professor Mike Savage at the London School of Economics. Uh, and with colleagues at the BBC, um, through the UK uh, lab site, we conducted an experiment which was a web survey on class uh, and it involved us having responses back from over 366,000 people, which is very exciting. This is a very big data set for us to analyse going forward. Um, it seemed to have a huge impact, was the source of much public discussion, um, particularly alongside a class calculator that the BBC had on its website, which was uh, used by over 6.9 million people. Um, so as I say, we've got a lot of work to do there. Interestingly, the UK lab site um, uh, was the site where a total of 12 experiments were conducted uh, and there's data there from over a million respondents and indeed the BBC is very keen to deposit that data um, and for it to become available through UK data services to the wider academic community and the public more generally. So I've given these examples because I've wanted to demonstrate how data is very much uh, the crown jewels of the social sciences. Um, data is critical uh, for the way in which we are able to describe and explain the society in which we live in. And managing data, uh, particularly big data, of course we need the infrastructure to be able to do that, to have access to such large information and large data of all different types. And this is where uh, UK data services play such a pivotal role for the academic community and, and much wider than that.